So for people who just bought this similar vacuum pump, the Robin Air SPX, uh, 156006CFM uh, vacuum pump. This is um, supposedly a high performance, quite expensive vacuum pump. When you buy it new, around five to six hundred dollars. I bought it used on eBay and it came filled with filth and dust and mud, just like inside here. I cleaned the exterior. Um, it's actually quite easy, just uh, a toothbrush and uh, some brushing with uh, mild detergent and most of the crust, crusty dust is all gone from the exterior. And today I actually just opened up or separated the motor, um, removed the exhaust and uh, so it's better to actually just plug this hole first. So uh, plug this hole so nothing fall inside here and uh, you can separately clean the motor, add some oil to it and uh, do some proper maintenance um, and then um, it should work you know as good as new provided all the seals are still in good condition this one is uh, not the newest uh, revision as you can see it's got some weird peculiar things this oil cap doesn't look like original and uh, yeah it's uh, reverse designed so that's kind of weird and uh, the drain valve seems to be the same uh, this every other part seems to be similar and this is the original Emerson motor that's made by them. So this is one of the made in USA version. I believe the newest version is, uh, I think made in China, call me if I'm wrong, but this is made in USA. And uh, when you separate this, super easy, just four bolts. That's like one, two, three, four of those bolts. Uh, you remove them and it, it comes apart. Obviously also the exhaust port, which you can remove with a big wrench, like so. All right, and what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna just clean this area and remove all the gunk and dust over here just to make sure it looks nice and it performs as expected. And obviously there are some oil leaks over here, but yes, I'm gonna clean the interior um, and then we're gonna put it back together, okay? But I want to show you guys what it looks like um, inside here. So if you just bought this, you haven't opened it up, it's a good time to you know do some uh, proper maintenance and just clean everything best you can and as i said any hole that's exposed use a rock to plug it so nothing weird falls into it okay so what i find most effective so far is just to use the paper towel wipe all the dirt away and then use a use the toothbrush and just brush it away and this one as you can see i brushed the exterior with it and now it's kind of worn but it still works great and after me finish brushing this it should look as good as new okay so I'm gonna do it and show you guys what the result is after I'm done with just brushing all the uh, gunk off okay all right uh, brushed most of the stuff off and I sprayed um, some citrus safe biodegradable barbecue grill cleaner this one actually uh, very safe and it removes grease exceptionally fine as you can see this part, the motor part, is actually already pretty clean now. Um, I also sprayed some over down here because there are a huge amount of oil and grease trapped in here. With a grease remover, um, I just do a small misty uh, water spray and most of the parts should come off very easily. And now, as you can see, the internals where the motor is going to be, you know, driving the, uh, the pump is very, very clean now. Okay, so which in turn is gonna prolong the life of the pump, of course. And uh, again, always make sure there's no debris or whatever weird stuff over here at the threads um, and you should be good to go. So next I'm gonna wash the degreaser off and it should look clean. All right, as you can see, I further took off the base plate. Uh, by the way, this one that I bought had a missing rubber piece over here quite expensive to replace just one rubber piece it's about you know $15 for just this one piece so I'm not gonna do that um, but alternatively you can buy this whole piece with the rubber plate with the rubber piece already mounted for I think around $20 $30 so that would probably be the uh, best option over here uh, to get this um, properly raised up and uh, leveled but what I want to show you is look how clean it is right now okay the, the machine is very well designed. It's extremely easy to clean, okay? 
all the pieces are sealed so any kind of dust dirt um, whatever you throw right now it's like super super clean all I used is you know a little paper towel some citrus uh, grease remover biodegradable and look at the motor how clean it is okay at the very end I'm gonna put everything together and I'm actually going to oil the motor because I don't think this uh, vacuum pump has been re-added uh, in terms of motor oil the motor oil keeps the motor from running smooth and uh, reduce the wear so the oil you add from those little two ports front and back the oil keeps the Emerson motor from running smooth and prolong its life so I think it's it's best to just oil this uh, every six months to a year if you haven't used it for a while um, or if you use it constantly oil it maybe every two to three months just to inspect on the level and add as necessary um, but other than that this is a very low maintenance high quality vacuum pump that really have every you know every part that's replaceable okay if you lose the um, you know the, uh, this is a gas uh, ballast so if you lose this you can buy it and uh, I'm still not sure what my my um, fill valve looks like because I haven't seen any other uh, Robin Air have this kind of setup so I'm thinking they probably screwed some sort of thing on when they opened the cap and did this modification so it's easier to I guess service um, but yeah they did this modification which is kind of weird but everything air is, is, is in perfect working order I turn it on and it sucks the air and uh, next uh, I'm gonna oil the motor and I'm gonna add um, some brand new vacuum pump oil and just try to test this to make sure it works with my manifold gauge um, you know I'm pretty sure it's gonna be working fine but I want to make this video to show you guys how to clean and remove all the pieces and uh, make sure you know it's in the best condition possible for your home mechanic use right so uh, feel free to ask me all right so finished with uh, restoration of the interior or between the motor and the pump as you can see um, I'm surprised this pump is in a pretty good condition um, you know after a full degrease and dirt removal uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna last me quite a long time in terms uh, when I need to recharge the AC in my car or my wife's car might have some other applications I don't know but I think this is a great pump for $150 if you can find it you know uh, on sale uh, a little bit of elbow grease is able to help you um, keep this pump running for a long time first thing first you need to add some oil to the front and the back uh, of the oil port for the bearings okay I think there are two bearings um, you don't need a lot I think maximum one tablespoon of oil is all you need if you continue add oil to the uh, to the front one it's gonna all uh, sip through and leak out so you don't need a lot again and with the oil I wiped all the components especially the steel pieces so keep it from uh, you know preventing it from rusting further this piece is also steel so I added some oil and cleaned it just a little bit um, unfortunately this part is already rusted before I was able to um, I guess give it a good oiling as you can see some rust over there but this is the exhaust port so not as important as the internal part over here which I think are all made of solid brass so it's not gonna have the rusting problem but the last step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add proper amount of oil and uh, just run this pump through uh, with a manifold gauge uh, not connected to anything just to make sure you know it keeps the vacuum um, well and uh, the next time I need to use it I know you know it's gonna be ready to use right away but in terms of our goal we removed all the nasty you know dirt in the front and back uh, before that I removed all the dirt from the exterior which again this this pump was quite messy when it arrived to me and I'm glad now it looks like a excellent good condition unit all right all right so testing the uh, SPX 15600 and uh, this is after a full restoration clean oiling and proper refill of brand new um, vacuum oil connected with my OMT uh, 4 port manifold gauge 
So right here, you can see it's pulling negative 30, as indicated in the high. The low, I think it's not showing negative 30, is because um, the gauge kind of doesn't go all the way down there. And uh, but what I'm gonna do next is I'm actually going to turn this off. And uh, we're gonna come back in about 30 minutes to check on the vacuum level uh, to see you know how much of the pressure it lost with this kind of um, with this connection okay so I think there's gonna be some leak but it's not gonna be as quick as I think we'll find out soon okay but uh, so far the restoration is complete and uh, as you can see it's working perfectly fine it's also very quiet, much quieter than the, uh, the cheaper Harbor Freight tool vacuum pump that I got. And uh, it also probably is going to run cooler um, compared to the Harbor Freight, as this is you know, being advertised as SPS, SPX Cooltech. So um, yeah, I'm fully expecting this to work as good as you know, it is, but uh, we'll find out soon. Give you guys a final look of the Robinair 15600. This is kind of a typical operating noise when it's pumping the vacuum and there's no leak. And as soon as I open the valve, uh, the exhaust is gonna push all the air through. And this is what it sounds like. Still very, very quiet. Okay, so it's sucking air from here. And uh, when I test, very strong suction very strong as you can see like if I leave my hand here for a while it kind of hurts so I know it sucks really really well okay like so okay. and if you close the valve of course um, the whole system is in a closed loop nothing comes out but probably putting in too much oil so it's like spilling out but anyway um, Pushing, pushing through the extra oil. Uh, I gotta clean it really quick. Uh, but yeah, don't put too much oil. And uh, this is an uh, excellent pump. Works fantastic, very low noise, extremely well built, very high quality motor. And it's gonna pretty much last you a lifetime if you're a home mechanic, okay? So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys found this uh, restoration and clean video, or cleaning up video helpful for this pump. Um, also applies to the 15400, the 4CFM model. Um, but in any case, this is a very, very reliable pump and easy to restore. Okay.